What's going on YouTube? Age Dove here and you know we playing raids. CBC is upon us. We got less than 24 hours until CBC starts. It is a PR CBC, so I hope you have saved your resources. Um, if you're looking to maximize your points, you can definitely check out this video that I did just showing how I, you know, get CVC points. Maybe it'll help you out a bit, but it wouldn't be CVC if we didn't have a summoning event. So, you know, we got a juicy, juicy 10x as well as something else that is about to be, you know, upon us now. It says we're planning to launch a few events simultaneously this week. One. There's going to be a 10x event to summon Elva Autumnborn and Mighty Yuko Autumnborn, Autumnborn and Mighty Yuko from Ancients and Sacred Shards. And, you know, those champions are amazing. Elva is an amazing champion. Mighty Yuko is an amazing champion as well. And we can take a look at their kits in a minute. And also, they're planning to launch a guaranteed champion event simultaneously with the 10x. And that is going to be for Supreme Kale from Void Shards. Tell me you didn't already know this. Now, you're going to have to, you know, drop 110 voids if you got any voids left. We just had a 2x void. So, chances are most people, you know, yeeted them. And then they were trying to get Supreme Gaelic as well. So, they yeeted a ton. We'll see how many people, you know, actually still have 110 left over. Obviously, you could have assumed this was coming and saved your 110. Some people didn't pull, you know, for Supreme Gaelic for that pay to win tournament. So they probably have 110 if they've been saving for a while. We know voice shards are tough to get. Just off the top of my head, I'm trying to think about how long it would take me to get 110 voice shards. Probably, you know, without spending, that is probably. Uh, I don't know a year or so give or take I, I you know I would say in a month you might get like maybe 14 or so I don't know if doom tower isn't active and you're only getting it from like clan boss you might get like 14 voids um, but when doom tower is active obviously you get a couple voice shards there you can get voice shards from the bazaar you can get a voice shard in the clan shop so you know, not many, but it's going to take a while to stack 110. So I don't know how many people have saved up for this. I don't know how many people are willing to spend money on this. I know I'm not. I will not be able to get Supreme Kale by pulling 110 voice shards. It's just not going to happen for your boy. I just can't do it. But I would gladly, gladly take a dupe copy of Mighty Yuko. I don't have an Elva at all, so I would 100% take an Elva. But, you know, we can take a look at these champions. They're awesome champions for sure. If you aren't already aware of who these champions are, Elva is a support champion in Sylvan Watchers. She's a reviver, has an amazing kit. On the A1, plays the continuous heal buff for two turns. On the ally with the lowest HP. On the A2, 75% chance of removing all debuffs from all allies. You can book this up to 100% chance, of course. Also places block debuffs and a 30% increased speed buff on all allies for two turns. On the A3, revives a target ally with 40% HP and 50% turn meter, then places a 60% increased defense buff and a 50% increased attack buff on that ally for two turns. And her passive ability heals each ally by 10% of their max HP at the start of their turn. You know, very similar to to Siffy, who you know heals when it, when people on your team takes turns. You know, plays a perfect veil buff for one turn on the ally with the lowest HP at the end of her turn. So she has a, a very solid kit. Also, speed aura. I know I used her when Sand Devil first came out. Did the comp with Elva, Ninja, and um, God Seeker. So she is useful in Sand Devil for sure. Um, she's useful pretty much everywhere in the game. She's a solid champion. Has a really, really solid kit. Base speed is high. Decent base HP. Decent base defense. So you can build her pretty tanky. And of course, she's going to, you know, shine in Faction Wars. Like, not even a question about it. Now, Mighty Yuko, also an amazing, amazing champion. 
was a fusion champion as well so if you missed out on the fusion you'll have a, a shot to get him now also has a really interesting lore story um mighty yuko like he was actually born an orc this guy was born an orc and then like he had a fight with a boar one day and then he got the skinwalker's curse and this dude like ended up a skinwalker the, he beat the boar obviously he beat the boar and then turned into the boar, a boar himself but a very interesting lore story his kit is amazing though for the longest time i thought that mighty yuko was a girl I, but it's, it's a dude clearly it's a dude right i don't know do we want to debate this I don't, I don't know if we do aoe a1 with attack down amazing right and you can book that up to a 75 percent chance if this was a hundred percent chance my god he would be so broken a2 is also an aoe attacks all enemies two times each hit has a 75 percent chance to remove two random debuffs from the target sorry random buffs and places block buffs and 50 percent decrease accuracy for two turns if they have no buffs after the attack and you can book this up to a 100 percent chance as a four turn cooldown on the a3 has a revive gonna revive all dead allies with 40 percent hp and then place block damage on them for one turn also places a 30 percent increased speed buff on all allies for two turns and we'll place the increased speed buff even if there are no dead allies this is the only thing i don't you know really care for about his kit and the thing that i don't care for much about many you know revivers who like use their revive even when it's not you know necessarily needed um, because then you have to wait, you know, four turns for that to come back around. But I'm not saying it's 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 terrible. I I you know I definitely benefit from him having the revive everywhere that I use him. I use him primarily in Hydra. So in the higher levels of Hydra, this guy is amazing as far as block buffs, decrease attack, getting some buffs off when you get three percented or what have you, and buffs get stolen by mischief. This dude is absolutely an amazing champion. So. I would, you know, 100% pull for him if I didn't have, you know, if you if you need him or you don't have him, I would definitely pull shards for this guy. If you know you're close to mercy, if you've been saving up a bit, if you want to go for a 10x, I would say 100% go for a 10x for this guy. Like, no question about it. His passive ability has a 50% chance of stealing one random buff from a random enemy each time a buff is placed on the enemy team. Will only attempt to steal one buff for each type of buff placed simultaneously. For example, only one random buff may be stolen if three shield buffs are placed at the same time. Any stolen buffs become protected. So this is why this guy is used in arena as well. So a very versatile champion who can be used in PvP and PvE content in various builds we've seen him in reflex relentless you can put this guy in stun set and he's he's a, a nightmare to deal with you know you don't need stone skin he can still stone skin even i've seen people put him in stone skin but like it it's just not really necessary he can still stone skin off of people you know before the the, the match starts you can do this guy all kinds of different ways. You want to go with a taunt set. I even use them in taunt for Hydra. Really helps out because he has two AoE abilities. So if you want to put him in a provoke set, he can, you know, kind of help to be a provoker there as well. If you're lacking provoke champions, this guy is, um, he's very versatile for, like, like to say the least. He also has an aura that increases ally speed in all battles about 20%. Very nice base speed at 109. Great base defense. Well, decent base defense. Base attack is kind of meh. And he has okay, you know, base HP um, at 18K. It's, it's, it's okay. You know, there are rares and epics that, you know, have more if not similar. But um, very, very, very nice kit overall. You know, I have no... I don't really have any beef with this champion. This dude is absolutely crazy. So... That is the you know news for what's going on with CBC as it begins in less than 20 hours now, guys. So I know a lot of people um aren't that happy about what was going on with you know the Supreme summoning events and what happened, and you know we get El Hain as the fusion, so.
It is what it is, guys. We live to raid another day. Hopefully, you know, we start playing the game after this. But until next time, guys, be good and be well.